Hey everybody, thank you for joining me. This is going to be a quick snip bit, a video. Um, so here we have a report from ARK Invest, Big Ideas 2022. Um, here you have the risk of in investing in innovation, disruptive innovation, uh, rapid pace of change, regu regulatory hurdles, politics, the political landscape, uncertain and unknowns. So this next few years within the economy is going to be very vital to the survival of a lot of people the wealth is going to be redistributed wealth is going to be redistributed people are going to be left behind if you do not push forward with new ideas old ideas keep people grounded in in that old thinking and it don't bring new prosperity old ideas do not bring new prosperity and so that's what this report really is going into it's going into artificial intelligence enabling humans to become superhuman so uh being able to i uh, always since i was a kid i thought i always think of a tablet i remember in my head a book i was like and this is before the ipad i would think of a oh you could have you know like a computer that's like a tablet and you just it made sense i was like years before the ipad came along and so i mean just you could think like you know imagine being able to take a chip or upload some kind of information into your mind and not even need to learn about it like you could learn to code okay I'm gonna upload that to my database and a lot of people get freaked out by artificial intelligence which you know I think it needs to be carefully treaded on and a lot of regulation needs to be crafted to really regulate this new intelligence right this new intelligence because i think artificial intelligence is going to be like like human it's going to be like the universe itself the universe manifests itself we are a manifestation like think of a video game when you're driving and it loads in in perspective to your eyesight i that's what i believe i i think this is a multi-dimensional universe but humans we've and they saying you know imagine GTA so you may imagine playing a GTA in a server and the servers ran for let's say 10 years but this server and the people they start getting like the what is it um, the AI the oh, I forgot what they were called these dummies these dummies within <laughs> the server you know these fake characters these dummies start getting intelligence like say you tweak the code a little bit and it becomes aware like whoa it's like is this the actual reality is this the actual realm that you're in because i can circle into different realms and so um and <laughs> that's what i just did so it, it's going to enable humans to become superhuman um AI training costs appear to be declining at twice the rate of Morse law. You can see that with this histogram displaying the information and how it's gradually compared to Morse law from 2015 forward. And then here you have a cool little like diagram showing AI software training costs using neural networks. So they're using neural networks now and this shows um, the estimate computed and the actual compute. And so you have that within this graph right here. And then, um, let's see what else is in here. Digital consumers spending more time and money online. So, uh, yeah, people are going to be on the internet more. And, I mean, reality and what, you know, the distinction of the digital landscape is merging. And it's going to keep merging. Um, this was taking sure of our lives. This is going into example of what I was saying. Uh, time spent offline and time spent online. So people are going to be sp spending more time on you know our mobile devices and, and on the internet as compared to being in actual reality. And so that's a, a stark comparison right there with the two colors of time spent offline and time spent online. You can see that gap widening as time goes on so i predict that you know 2050 2060 2070 the majority of the human um
consciousness, our cognitive consciousness is going to be online. That's around 2060 to 2070, uh, if not sooner, that our consciousness as human beings is going to be online. Wow. I just blew myself away by even saying that. And so, and you hear, uh, you see it right here, social platforms are scaling like never before. It, they're scaling. You see Meta, you see Facebook, you see Facebook creeping up, you see Facebook creeping up, you see Facebook creeping up, and you see YouTube, WhatsApp, WeChat, Instagram, TikTok, TikTok, exponential growth in such a short amount of time. Uh, but you see them all following the same projectile and then uh, this is digital advertising in primary channels for reaching cons consumers so I worked in channel sales I worked in channel sales and so what channel sales is you have a marketplace you present your product to distributors to people in channel sales and they will distribute your product to all these channels and you get more customers that's what they're saying uh, this is digital ad spent this is traditional ad spent comparison of that um, digital wallets digital wallets i personally don't trust digital wallets at this point in time i think they're so uh, i mean somebody could steal your credit card somebody could steal the data on your credit card so in essence it's about the security aspect money is money really a viable option i gold i think gold is the gold standard i think digital wallets they're the future but um that needs to be treaded very carefully because that could destabilize the whole world's economy. The globalized economy has already been destabilized enough. I think the, the, the aspect of adding another variable such as digital wallets is just going to completely uh, ravish economies like the United States and our central banking system. It's going to ravish our central banking system and I think it needs effective policy the US, United States government needs a, a viable alternative to Bitcoin in order for our country to truly stay ahead of digital wallets and so yeah this this report just went into some really um, fascinating facts um, that I've already mentioned uh, here we have environmental social and government uh, impact um, Concerns. These are the concerns within those sectors. You have Bitcoin mining uh, and how it's evolved into a multi-billion dollar industry. Uh, so Bitcoin's evolved into a multi-million dollar industry. Um, right here you have the cumulative miner revenue. Uh, Bitcoin miners generate revenue of uh, $16.7 billion in just 2021 alone. And then you have uh, in billions right here. Um, it's it's went down exponentially. Uh, I have some Bitcoin, so 